I know you want pop, you want damn, you want got that round. You want it? This year's remix got some fun. There are three main types of transportation vessels in vertebrates. Arteries carry oxygen-rich blood away from the heart. The main artery from the heart is the aorta. Arteries are the thickest of all three vessels and have a total of three layers. Most veins return oxygen-poor blood back to the heart. The only exception is the pulmonary vein, which carries oxygen-rich blood from the lungs to the heart. Veins also have three layers, but they are much thinner than arteries. Capillaries are very small vessels that help infiltrate every single tissue in the body. Capillaries consist of a single layer known as the endothelium. Scientists believe that four chamber hearts have developed to support endothermic lifestyles as well as to support higher metabolic processes. There are four main compartments to the heart. They include the right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle. In general, atria receive blood while the ventricles pump blood out of the heart. Oxygenated blood from the lungs travels through the pulmonary vein and enters the left atrium. The pulmonary vein is the only vein in the entire body that transports oxygen-rich blood to the heart. From the left atrium, blood flows through the atrioventricular valve, also known as the bicuspid valve, into the left ventricle. From the left ventricle, blood is pumped into the largest artery in the body, the aorta. The aortic semilunar valve closes to prevent backflow into the left ventricle. Many arteries branch from the aorta, carrying oxygen-rich blood to all parts of the body, other than the lungs. This is called systematic circulation. Oxygen is given up from the blood and CO2 is received. Blood flows into the capillaries and eventually back to veins. There are two main veins that bring oxygen-poor blood back to the heart. The superior vena cava drains oxygen-poor blood from the upper part of the body, while the inferior vena cava does the same for the lower body. Both veins drain the oxygen-poor blood back into the right atrium. Blood passes from the right atrium into the right ventricle through the right atrioventricular valve, also known as the tricuspid valve. Blood is then pumped from the right ventricle into the pulmonary vein or the pulmonary trunk, which brings oxygen-poor blood back into the lungs, and then the cycle repeats. Each heartbeat is regulated by the SA node, also known as the pacemaker. Within each beat of the heart, there is a systole or contraction phase and a diastole or relaxation phase. Most fish have a two-chambered heart, one atrium and one ventricle. The blood is pumped from the ventricle to the gills where it picks up oxygen and gives off carbon dioxide through the capillary walls. The gill capillaries carry the oxygenated blood to capillary beds and other organs. This blood is then carried back to the heart via veins. Frogs and other amphibians have a three-chambered heart with two atria and one ventricle. The ventricle pumps blood into a forked artery that splits the blood into the pulmonocutaneous and systematic circulation. The pulmonocutaneous circulation leads the blood to the lungs and the skin, while the systematic circulation delivers oxygen-rich blood to all other organs. Blood picks up carbon dioxide and drops off oxygen before returning to the heart's left atrium. 